When we were little and not feeling so well, our moms and grandmoms brought us warm lemon water, sometimes with honey in it, and it always made us feel better. It turns out this wasn't just about parental love, but deep traditional and indigenous wisdom about the connection of plants and herbs to care for our bodies. The original book was to be a guide and a resource, but it was also to provide a a basis for conversation and discussion. At the Trust for Indigenous Culture and Health, we work to reconnect Kenyans with our bodies, with our health, with our cultures, and with the traditional knowledge of the foods and herbs to heal and keep our bodies strong. Our book, Using Our Traditions, is a guide for all families on how to identify common illnesses, prevent them, and treat them with food and herbs. I've had the opportunity to lend the original guidebook. This new one is more richer and deeper. It will give you the foundation of how you can better use your plants and then by when you become better, you start loving the plants all the more. I have interacted with both the old and the new guide. Um, the old one, I've been using it in training uh, my community. First of all, I'm HIV positive and my CD4 count was 47, it was very low, but I was on IRVs. So when I was introduced to Tika, I was given a guidebook. Then I started using the information on the, on the guidebook. So I came to learn about herbal, whereby I'm also an arithmetic. So it was so hard combining IRVs and asthma and flu, malaria, all those things, sinuses. So I learned about garlic, whereby I use garlic every day. In 2020, we updated and printed a new edition. The difference between the old guide and the new guide is the, the old guide we did not put red flag illnesses aside. And the new guide now has red flag illnesses aside. When I, uh, what I mean with red flag is the illnesses that you cannot treat at home. Illnesses that if you have, you have to go to the hospital. One of them is TB, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, you know, it's very contagious. Here, yeah, second edition, Imiona ikota fauti na ile ya kwanza, jiu hiko na mambo nyingi sasa, na mambo na menopause. Jiu hiko ina nisimbua kati ni yanzana na ayo. Tena hiko raisi sana kutumia, kwa sababu wa meka kala, na ukonjo enyewe, na umri. It is translated in different languages, so at least it is more easier for the community to understand and to know it. So him pia ilikuja kuongezea kwa sababu kuna maybe kuna dawa moja iko na matibabu kama ya magonjwa tano na kwa ile ya zamani wamerodesha mbili na hii mpya nimeona ni kama imeongezewa zingine with more and more families living under a dollar a day and with the high cost of health care and increasing challenges in health, Tika shares this book with our communities as a guide to the foods and home remedies that are simple, highly nutritious, low cost, natural and effective. I know Bredelia Maiklantha was a very good substitute of tea whenever tea runs out in my family. So plants even before I came now to learn them better when I joined forestry, I'm now in the botanic garden world for the last 25, 24 years. Plants have got a place for medicine, for food, for nutrition. Through Tika to Mesoma Mabaya, you can pharmacy. Nivire too, where Monyona is a detrain. Apoqua kitchen, na Mahari Navekanga, Aina Zile Chakula Zingine, Nininu Naveka, Unezaeka Apo. In case in Itakua, in a kusaidia kubus, in Minitiako. This book is called Using Our Tradition, a herbal and nutrition guide for Kenyan families, and it can be bought uh, directly from Tika. We will be sharing on all our social media platforms how to purchase it um, using our pay bill number. We are also um, collaborating with very many bookshops, including Textbook Center, Prestige Bookshop 
and other bookshops that we are currently also approaching, it will be on their shelves very soon.